Are you ready for an e-learning demo? So here I'm applying a torque to the floor uh, by using friction on the floor to start me spinning. So that torque is going to cause an angular acceleration. Uh, remember, uh, there's now a rotational um, Newton's second law. That's what I'm doing here. Now I'm lifting my feet uh, so there's no external torques anymore, uh, but I'm about to change something. Whoa, I totally spun up. That must be because I changed my moment of inertia. So the uh, my moment of inertia went down. Um, what's called rotational inertia, it decreased, and that uh, meant that my angular velocity had to increase because my angular momentum had to stay the same. So if one thing goes up, the other thing has to go down. It has to stay the same because there was no more torque outside of a little bit of friction in the chair that eventually slowed me down. Here, it's the opposite. I go from a really small moment of inertia, uh, rotational inertia, where all the mass is concentrated to my center, to where it goes out, and my velocity goes down really, really fast. 